Dorothea, it's Randy Rainbow. Can you believe it, Dorothea? Am I pronouncing your name correctly? I should have really studied and practiced. Is it, maybe it's Dorothea or Dorothea. I'm probably, anyway, listen, forgive me, but the point is, it's really me, Randy Rainbow, and I am here because I heard from all your fans, of which there are many, and they tell me you have a birthday coming up on May 10th, and it's kind of a big one. <gasps> 90. Girl, what's your secret? You look gorgeous. Please let me know what moisturizer we're using. Okay. Um, they tell me all about you. I know you're an energetic 410 Greek American. Already I love you. You're empathetically liberal. Love you even more. A lover of classical music. I'm listening to classical music as we speak. And a singer. Alto's rule, my favorite. Uh, a foodie and a devoted mother, grandmother, and great grandmother. And so everyone wanted me to let you know, and I'm thrilled to do so, that we love you very much and we are wishing you the happiest birthday ever. Here's to 90 more. I don't know where you are located, my darling. It doesn't say. But when I get back out on the road with my live tour, which will hopefully be this fall, and I come to a city near you, Please come if you can, and we will laugh and sing and celebrate properly. I would love to meet you in person one of these days. But until then, celebrate you, honey, and happy, happy birthday. Lots of love from all your fans, and especially your biggest fan, me. Love you. Hi, Dorothea. I'm here to wish you happy birthday, and I'm so happy to know you. I really look forward to your next visit to Seattle when we can share a meal together with Sarah. And for now, I'm hoping you have a beautiful celebration. So happy 90th. Hi, Dorothea. Happy birthday. I want to wish you a very happy birthday and a big virtual hug. You are a very special person who never stops learning never stops fighting for what's right in this world, and you enjoy life to its fullest. You're always happy. My friends, some older than you and some younger, enjoy being with you so much that they look forward to the next time you're here. That to me is a true test of how much you bring to everyone's life who has the honor of spending time with you. So enjoy your birthday, hopefully with all of your family, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Love you. I was new here, didn't know anybody. I was in the hall, ran into Dorothea, Dorothea Nelson. She said, what are you doing today on a Saturday morning? And I said, well, I'm going to a gallery opening. A friend of mine is an artist and um, he's having a show today. Would you like to come? And she said, no, no. A moment passed and she said, why not? With the shrug of her shoulders, I got a friend. And she's a friend still. And I'm really happy about the shrug of those shoulders. Hi, Dorothea, and a very happy birthday. I was thinking this has been a momentous year for you here at Kimball Farms, and you've done a phenomenal job. But now that you're of an age, you're gonna be able to retire by next year, which I suspect will make you happy. Happy birthday, have a great day. Hi, happy birthday. It's your 90th, I'm there already, but I'm happy to have you join me. And I'm, it's a wonderful thing, I mean, as long as you're well, you're healthy, and you're happy, you'll have to be happy because you're healthy. And, and besides, we all love you, and we're so happy that we can celebrate this occasion with you. So, happy birthday, and you joined us. <laughs> we who are 90 years old or older. Hi, dear Dorothea, on this very, very special day, it's been truly a blessing to have your friendship and to have shared so much these last five years. Uh, uh, 
Tanglewood concerts, uh, early music festivals, plays. To me, Dorothea, you are truly the most caring, generous, and oh so supportive friend I could possibly, possibly wish for. And so, on this special day, happy birthday, joyeux anniversaire, good health, much, much pleasure with your wonderful family, and now your new great-granddaughter. Happy birthday, Dorothea. I, I truly, truly love you. Hi, Dorothea. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dorothea. Happy birthday. Yeah. We miss you. Yes, yeah. we do. We do. We're still talking about books and life. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little limited with the pandemic, but yeah. we're managing. This is our first time together. I know. A long time. We yes. miss your quotes and cleverness, that's for sure. It is for sure. Your wisdom. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. And the poetry that you, you really had an affinity for. So. And I know your aubergine, or how you say that? <laughs> aubergine, your love of color. Aubergine. Aubergine. <laughs> You can tell we really need you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you found a book club. I'm sure you have where you are. Yeah. Enjoy your summer and enjoy your family. And okay. we were delighted to be able to be part great, of your birthday. Gr great to see you, Dorothy. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy Bye. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dorothea. Happy 90 years birthday to you. Wish I could be there and celebrate with you, Dorothea. Happy, happy from Matthew in Fargo, North Dakota. Dorothea, happy birthday. 90 years old, what an accomplishment. John and Angela are here for the weekend for Warren's 70th. What a lad, right? And we just finished some strawberry rhubarb pie. And we're talking about next weekend and how you're going to celebrate your great accomplishment. And I said, oh, I'm going to send her a card and I send it with you, John. And he said, no, no, you're going to record it. So here we are being up to the minute as old people. I hope you have a wonderful day and I wish I would have a chance to see you. That is unlikely, but enjoy it for me and for us. Warren adds his greeting. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Dorothea. Coming from Chicago, this is Carol O'Neill and my wonderful housemate, Kelvin Sandridge. Hello. And we bring greetings to all the Nelsons. Um, first, we want to serenade you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dorothea. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Anyway, wanted to just go down memory lane a little bit. Uh, word association. First of all, I'm remembering the options game that you had Sarah and me pose for and play. We made the Post Standard or the Herald Journal. Second, our mother-daughter trip to Boston it was so much fun. Uh, third, and should be first on the list, is your wonderfully infectious laugh. My dad especially loved that. For all the fun times sleeping over at your house, you were the cool mom. And Canada, and fishing, and Syracuse stage, dinners at Phoebe's, uh, sing-alongs, and... Uh, little skits at your home that I heard about from mom and dad. Uh, Nottingham band and orchestra concerts. Whoa. <laughs> Dinners with you, Doug, and mom at the home in DeWitt. Your reading of prayers. Uh, you always really impress me with your spirituality and faith, dedication to the church, and dedication to speaking out for what is right. Your letters to the Post Standard and your political emails. Of course, you've always been a mentor in that respect. Naya Yoga, 
Mom and I went with you to Naya Yoga, and it was a great class. I've not found one since that I love so much. Finally, I just wanted to thank you. I can never thank you enough for opening up your home to me when I was visiting Mom at the Nottingham, and we had some such great talks and sharing, and I will always uh, cherish them. And uh, I guess lastly, your beauty and your grace, your artistic sense of style, whether you are, whatever you're presenting, especially um, entertaining guests and loved ones in your home, uh, you're a gourmet chef, you are just a woman about everything, and I love you very much. So happy birthday. I hope to see you soon, Dorothea. Happy birthday, Dorothea. I hope you're enjoying this very special day. My memories with you go back so many years. I met you on my very first day in Syracuse when I was coming to interview for a job. And the friendship with you just grew and grew over the years. Um, I particularly remember how you and Doug recruited me to sing bass in the Syracuse Oratorio Society, which for me was a huge challenge, but I just enjoyed it with you so much. Mia and I loved seeing you guys at your get-togethers, your festivals, your family gatherings, and we'd see you all the time when we would go to chamber music, Syracuse stage, at Syracuse Symphony. You brought such a boundless energy and vibrancy to our lives in Syracuse that was really just very, very special. You're a dear, dear person to us, and we cherish so many memories together with you and Doug, and want to wish you a really, really happy birthday. Hello, Dorothea. Happy birthday. It's a milestone birthday for you, and I wish you well. I pray you're sharing it with your dear family, as well as many friends in Lenox. Uh, I think of you often, miss you still, and think of you as I recall our first meeting at Regional Learning Service many years ago. You put me on a very good track as my mentor, and I thank you for that still. I think my happiest recollection is of our mutual trip. We went together to New York City with a group of people locally. We toured for the day the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and it was an experience to remember. We spent a good deal of time walking the streets. We toured a beautiful synagogue. We went to a recreation of a tenement house which showed us what life was like for those newcomers to our country. That image stays with me still, and uh, I treasure it because it showed suffering, but also showed love and family. I think that probably the happiest moment was our lunch at Katz's Delicatessen with appropriate food shared with our dear children who live in the city. Lots of laughter, great stories, and a wonderful companionship. May that sort of good time continue for you in the future as you welcome people into your home. You're such a great hostess, and I pray we meet in the year to come, too. Miss you very much. Happiest of birthdays. God bless you. Bye-bye. Dorothea, I'm sitting here in my backyard having a trip down memory lane, thinking of all the things we've done together and all the books we've talked about my wonderful meals in your home, evenings with Sarah, the dinner when David had his sweet little dog on, <laughs> on his lap. Um, so many, many memories. Thank you for being such a fine friend, such a fine human being. I really miss you. I've missed I've missed a lot of things, but I think the thing I've missed most have just been our conversations and talking about books and current events and um, the feeling, the wonderful feeling of sharing with someone who's on the same, same wavelength. I don't feel that so much anymore. So 
Have a wonderful day. I hope so much to speak to you soon. I'm, I've just finished a wonderful new book, Clara and the Sun. I'd love for you to read it, and then we could maybe do a, a FaceTime and talk about it. All right, be well. Much love to you. Happy birthday, Dorothea, from Peggy and George, from Cary, North Carolina. When I first walked into Walter White's restaurant in 1973, I had no idea that this would be the beginning of a 50-year friendship. We had many uh, adventures together, primarily working at RLS, where we raised our kids sitting at tiny desks six feet apart amid construction. Fortunately for me, your kids were older, so I was able to benefit from your wisdom. Do you remember babysitting our goldfish when we went on sabbatical? I also remember the birthdays, especially one where you were on a diet, so we made a birthday cake out of bananas, putting the candles in and sang just as lustily. I also remember your 50th birthday where we literally had 50 candles plus an original poem by Doug, very brief but original, being 50 is nifty. I'm also thinking about our wonderful co-ed book club which lasted for nearly 20 years and the hilarious Kentucky Derby parties that we had where Molly took the money and never gave it back to the winners. She simply donated it to horse organizations. We visited you a couple of times in Lenox, and I will remind you that you have yet to make it to carry. How about coming down here for your 100th birthday? In the meantime, we wish you a very happy birthday with love. Happy birthday, Dorothea. I'm sorry you're not sitting in the tape chair right across from me because I would love to share with you my true feelings of how much fun we've had together and how many hurdles we've crossed and how understanding we've been of each other. And in our most tragic times, we've been together and our happiest times we've been together. And um, how many people can say that? Aren't we lucky? And um, we share a very close, loving, almost family feeling together. And thank you for including me. And um, I wish you a very, very happy birthday. And go ahead and sing all you want. Happy birthday, Granny Ann. Grace says happy birthday too. She does. We're very, very glad you're in our lives. Um, I'm so happy to have you in my family. Um, you really have sh shown me a unique way of being a woman in, in this world. Um, I think that you, you've helped me both large and small. Um, like I think back to when I was in high school and you sent me to a fancy salon to get my hair done. Um, all the way up to big things like helping me get through nursing school. Um, and if it weren't for your vivaciousness and love of life and um, confidence and energy I think that uh, I would be a very different person today. You've really had a big, big impact on me and already on this little one behind me. <laughs> so I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful year and we love you very, very much. Happy birthday, Granny Ann. Happy 90th. I cannot believe <laughs> that it's your 90th birthday, but here we are. What an incredible milestone that is, and I'm so happy to be able to say happy birthday. I'm so thankful for you being in my life. It's been such a blessing to have you in my family. I think back to the first time that Katie and I came to Syracuse to visit you and Grandpa N. 
that week that we came and you then were so generous and so loving towards us. And that's, you, that's continued all the years I've known you. It's been such a, an honor and a pleasure to have you in my life, supporting me and giving me guidance and giving me very good cooking <laughs> and very good charades lessons. And I'm so happy to be able to say happy birthday. I can't wait to say it in person and to give you a really big hug, which will happen very soon. But for now, I just wanna say I love you and happy birthday. Mwah. Happy birthday, Dorothea. Uh, sorry I can't be there with you. Um, it's a very special time, um, but hopefully this video will suffice. I just wanted to take the opportunity and let you know just how special your friendship has been to me, but all of our family. My mom and dad talked all the time about just how um, special you and Doug are to them and how welcome and supported you made them feel. And in my case, and we've talked about this just recently, uh, when my parents were transitioning from Latin America and I came and lived with you, it was just an amazing thing that you did for me. I needed a second mom and you were happy to do that. So uh, we will love you forever and for always. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi, Dorothea. I'm so happy to participate in this wonderful celebration. Happy, happy 90th birthday. Um, obviously, remembering back to 103 Crawford and 105 Crawford, when uh, we arrived in Syracuse, Ari was a mere babe, two years old. He'll be 50 in September, hard to believe. Um, actually, both kids send greetings to you and, and both have wonderful memories of being latchkey kids and you holding the key. Um, according to Jenna, the key never came without an apple after school. And Jenna also remembers you letting her use your sloped driveway to practice her bike riding. So we have wonderful memories. I remember you singing a lot in your wonderful garden. Have a wonderful birthday, Dorothea, and I send you much love and wish you many joys and blessings. Happy birthday, Dorothea. I cannot believe that you are 90 years old. <laughs> but honestly, I would have expected nothing less of you. <laughs> You are, as the Brits would say, a goer. As um, Tim was my best friend, uh, I spent so much time in your house. You guys lived right up the block. And to me, you were always the prime mover of your family. Organizing, planning, making meals, watching over things, always engaged with a, uh, a clear, um, somewhat strict, Right? but not unkind sense of command. And, of course, the most wonderful room-bursting laugh. <laughs> One of the times that I remember hearing that laugh uh, the most, or the most memorable, was, you know, I think you know what I'm going to say, <laughs> the honey story. Now, I have no recollection of this moment myself, right? But your heartfelt enjoyment of it has just emblazoned it on my memory. So for those who may not know this story, and there are probably a few, I had favorite meals when I was a kid, favorite foods, and one of them when I was six was honey sandwiches. And then you all, you went away, took the family, went away to London. Tim and I were seven. And then when you came back, I came back to welcome Tim home, and you had a very thoughtfully prepared, of course, a honey sandwich for me. And you laid it out very proudly and said, look what I have for you, Jeff. And I did take a look and I said, but Mrs. Nelson, I don't like honey anymore. I must have had just as much social tact as I do now. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> more delightful than the story, really was your enjoyment of it. Uh, and I count, I count as a great, great blessing in my life. 
the fact that I have been able to share in the delight you have in the world. Thank you, Dorothea, and happy, happy birthday. Sending you huge remote hugs and lots and lots of love from the bottom of my heart. Long may you wave. Mwah. Happy birthday, Dorothea. I'm so happy, thrilled really, that your kids have arranged for this opportunity for us to be able to participate in your birthday celebration. And I am filled with all kinds of wonderful memories from our years together on Crawford Avenue. And one of them is from the summer of 1969. It's when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. And uh, for some reason, you were at our house as we were watching the moon landing. And you were so excited and so exuberant. Um, and your enthusiasm for the moment of this moon landing just added a whole additional dimension for me to the experience of watching this moon landing. And really, you and the moon landing are forever linked uh, in my mind. Another uh, inspiring memory for me is of the play reading group that you had together with my parents and other friends. And you just, you folks were just all so creative and had so much fun together. And um, this really stands out as just a really beautiful memory for me. So I am sending you lots and lots of love and wishing you a very, very happy birthday. Enjoy. Hey, Dorothea. I just want to say happy birthday. We're on another one of our bike trips in Piano, Texas. We're doing a hill country loop. It's a lot of fun. And I just wanted to say thank you for all your support. You've given me a lot of support through this whole journey over the last two years, and it means a lot. I feel like you're part of our family. So happy birthday. This is my son, Oakley. He's my traveling companion, and here's my husband, Twain, taking the video. All right, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dorothea, or as I think of you, Mrs. Nelson. Uh, this is Andrew Day. I'm calling uh, from Santa Cruz, California, where I'm hunkered down. Uh, I have many fond memories of being together with you and your family. Um, most distinctly, I probably is like the summer of 1972 when Joel and I came up to Syracuse and later to your summer cabin. Uh, I recall doing a lot of fishing, exploring the woods, uh, I remember holding hands around the dinner table and singing day by day before we all ate. Um, I have some vague memory of uh, venturing out in the dark to the outhouse and dropping a flashlight down the hole um, and then leaving the light shining up through the hole, but it's, it's, it's vague. Uh, other than that, I recall many, many times that you came over to our house bringing warmth and laughter, and I always appreciated that. I, I appreciate also the kindness that you've shown my mother over the years. Um, I'm hope you're, hoping you're having a very lovely day today. So happy birthday. Hi, Mrs. Nelson. Happy 90th birthday. Very incredible. My mother's just behind you. Uh, greetings from Australia. This is my backyard. Okay, not really. Um, but I wish you the very best, um, had great memories. My, probably my strongest memory about you in my life was immediately after my mother's accident when you took me and my brother up there for a couple of weeks. We spent a week in Syracuse and a week at your cabin. It was very much appreciated and had a lot of fun. Good luck and uh, I hope you have a great birthday. Hey, Dorothea, happy birthday. It's Daniel Day. 90 years old. That's something. Uh, I always wanted to, I've told you before, I always appreciate the, the love and compassion you have for my mother. That's uh, an endearing quality that always touches me. And uh, just a quick memory of us hanging out, our families, and we went to some picnic and we were drinking red juice. And I grabbed a cup as I was running around and slammed it down in one gulp and it was wine that you guys were putting in little Dixie cups and and I was completely aghast and felt like I was going to die and you were laughing hysterically and yet in a in a caring way so that that sticks in my mind with many other fond memories so happy birthday much love to you bye bye hi Dorothea this is Dana Day McGahey and 
I don't know how to keep this down to one minute, sharing memories of you, since we've known each other, since I was in the womb. It seems you are, you've been like a second mother to our family all these years. I remember we followed each other around the country from Boston to St. Paul, back to the Northeast. I remember birthday parties in Minnesota with David. And I remember camping after we moved out here in Watkins Glen, New York and places in Pennsylvania. I remember the grown-ups being very silly. Maybe there was something else involved there too, but there's lots of laughing and fun. We always look forward to getting together with your family. I remember um, visiting you in Syracuse and we played so many games of Clue. That was, that was our thing with your kids. And you would come and visit us and Tim would take apart our metronome or whatever else we had. Um, I remember your laugh was just great and Doug's lower pitched laugh. I remember the two of you randomly breaking into song and it was so beautiful. Um, you had us up to your, you came down and got us and brought us up to Syracuse after my mom's accident. And I remember you did tie dyeing with us in your kitchen. And even at the time I thought, is this woman crazy doing tie dyeing with extra kids around? So that was very nice. You were very kind to us then. Um, I remember, hmm, you came to our wedding you always sent birthday presents and um, you knit special blankets and things for our kids, which they've passed on to their kids. You are our family's longest and best friend and happy, happy birthday. We love you. Hi, Mrs. Nelson, Dorothea. This is Leslie Meter here. Um, in case you can't quite tell Dane and I apart, happy, happy birthday. I am so happy to help you celebrate this day, your 90th, quite a momentous occasion. I have so many wonderful memories of you from my growing up years. I remember the long drive, it was a really long drive back then up to Syracuse to 105 Crawford Avenue. We were so happy to finally get there. And uh, I remember you're just filling the house with your laughter, with your singing, with uh, loving your kids and your family and loving, loving us kids, the day kids as well. I remember, uh, I remember silly things like you're cooking hard boiled eggs for Doug and putting them in an egg cup and I'd never seen an egg cup and I was just amazed that someone could be just that careful <laughs> with food. I remember the many baby blankets that you've made for us for, for us day kids, for our firstborn. And those have been passed on, we thank you. I remember your garden in the backyard. I just mostly remember your, your infectious laughter about everything. I remember your visiting us. I remember after my mom's accident, uh, I took, I think I took a plane up to visit Sarah and the rest of you for a week. And it was an absolutely wonderful week for me. And then I remember your coming down too, to help take care of us after her accident and how much you you loved uh, Nancy, my mom, who was very apparent and how much you cared about what was going on with us. Um, I always tell people that you're like my aunt and you've been a wonderful family member, really. My mom's oldest and best friend, probably so much in common from uh, David's and our babyhood onward and we are so thankful that you have been in our lives. So have a happy, happy, wonderful birthday surrounded by family and friends. And thank you for all you've meant to us through the years. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dorothea. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dorothea. It's joy, I miss you. I think about you all the time. The uh, carved wooden bird that you gave my parents or my dad, I think it's a hermit thrush. 
is perched on my kitchen window and I look at it all the time. I remember when you came and visited me right after Tyler was born in 1984. My mom was still in New York and she wanted somebody to lay eyes on that first grandchild of hers. So you came over and it was so much fun and just nice to have a visitor who knew something about raising babies because I didn't have a clue. <laughs> so thank goodness you showed up and saved the day, saved Tyler. Um, hey, have a wonderful year and a wonderful day celebrating with friends and family. Bye-bye. Love you, Dorothea. Happy, happy birthday. This is a message to DPN. Uh, one year apart, you and I, we've each uh, hit that special 90th birthday. And we remember both of us so strongly meeting in the summer of 1964 in Syracuse when we um, both had moved there from St. Paul. I remember and I honor how much time, expertise, and energy you gave to that city, especially to the university library and your leadership of uh, the Syracuse Symphony Orchestra. We both and our families loved music. And remember, our kids went together in that amazing experiment in the school uh, that so many of our friends sent. We all sent our children. Where, what was that school, Madeline? Martin Luther King, that whole year that they spent there. The shame. And I remember the school, and I just want to say happy birthday, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Nelson. I'm still um, calling you Mrs. Nelson, even though I'm 63 years old. Have can a wonderful you, birthday. Sorry to interrupt. What can you imagine? Madeline's 63? Huh? I, I can't imagine it. But I think you uh, gave Syracuse so much, so many entities. And all the things are, I also, even more happily, remember all the things our families did together, especially the kids. I especially remember going up to Canada to both of our cabins. And do you remember flying to Montreal and we stayed in a boat, in a, somebody's house, a tourist house in uh, Quebec City and all the stuff that was on the wall there. I remember our wonderful trip to Europe, especially um, to Doug's family home and that beautiful church. And oh, remember Bergen and the flowers? Uh, it was it, it was a wonderful trip. Oh, we've been friends such a long time. It's, it's been a great friendship. I was sorry when it, it broke apart and I came down here and you went up there. Um, remember, you, uh, we visited you, Dottie Stevens and I, last year. I think it was last year. Oh, there's nothing like you, Nikki. I miss you very much. Be happy, uh, be healthy. I think about you, whether I'll get back up there or not, I don't know, but be, be well. Everything depends on that mostly. So happy, happy birthday from Joyce. Happy birthday, my dear friend, Nikki. Oh, what a joyous occasion this is. Can you believe we've known each other for 63 years? Oh, and what an incredible time we've had. 
thinking back to that first day when we met at the hospital and took parenting classes together. And then David being born when the twins were supposed to be born and they were born when he was supposed to be born. Oh, we connected on, on picnics together and our famous ride to Guthrie Theater in pouring rain and the, having a flat tire. And the time you took me down to get fabric to make our fancy dresses. <clears throat> and your dress turned out beautiful, but mine did not. I, I can remember you always being there <clears throat> when I needed you. And I remember being there when John was born and I think I babysat your family when Tim was born. And, and I, I always think of you at Bass Lake making dinner for us when you had no running water. And there were, it was a big group, seven or eight, nine, I don't remember. I can't say enough for all your qualities, Nikki. You're truly a remarkable lady. What a joyous time it is because you have contributed so much.